you are about to uh, hear a fantastic presentation. Here, especially not to talk about soccer, but to talk about life, to talk about living, to talk about what I think is necessary to get what you want. I'm a UEFA Pro License Trainer, highest level you can get. Get an education in sports management and uh, at least study sports and sports science at the Technical University of Darmstadt. <laughs> Darmstadt is a town close to Frankfurt and uh, there I <coughs> study sports. And during the last 20 years I worked as a professional trainer in yeah, almost every level. I yeah, got there in Germany and started in Darmstadt, where I studied with the under-12 team, working there for a few years. I'm here to tell you something about my story. And uh, some of you, if you take a look at the way I'm walking, there is anything not, 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 not the way you all do it. So I tell you my story. Just as you guys all, driving the bike, yeah, everything was what can be done outside. Because during that time, there was no computer, there were no um, video games, there were just television, three programs, one, two, and three, and the program starts at five in the evening, and the program ends at 11 in the evening. And the rest of the time, when you switch on the television, there was a test picture and a beep. <laughs> That's all. So when you, like you in the morning, Open the eyes, first thing, switch on the television. Uh, there was just a, a test picture and a beep. So, what, you, what is necessary to do, you need to get out. So I went out doing sports the whole day. My, my total socialization is worked out in sports. There I learned how to win. <coughs> I learned how it feels to lose. I learned that it's sometimes hard that it's sometimes a pleasure, sometimes it's painful, sometimes it's funny. And one day, in the evening, I went out to a Chinese restaurant, and you guys might know it, whenever you get into a Chinese restaurant, you get that fortune cookies. So I opened up maybe the second or the third one of my fortune cookies I ever opened, and then there was this sheet of paper in it, and on this sheet of paper was written what I've tell, told you before. You need to know what you want, or you have to take what's left. One day, just a day before my 27th birthday, everything changes just in around the snap of a finger. I was on my bike, new bike, a brand new bike, the first ride with a brand new bike. I was training for a triath triathlon. And uh, I need to cross a big street, and there was a truck right behind me, also one across the same street, and the driver was a foreigner, didn't know where to go, take a look around, which way to take, but doesn't take a look what I've done there. And then he pushed me from behind, I was falling, and he was taking over me. And in case of that, I need to get to the hospital 150 days, 40 days coma and all that stuff. During the first 24 hours, they put about 15 to 18 gallon of blood inside up there. And the way they put it inside up there, it runs out down there. And finally, this is what happens. They take away my right leg, just upon the knee, and the left one just yeah, that bit under the knee. And then I was sitting there in the corner, not in the corner, I was sitting there in the bed, and I said to myself, and now everything's gone. There's no way to stay there outside on the beach like this. Hey girls, and that day I start 
to think about what have I learned before? What, what are the things that I went through during all these years? What sports gave me and what the living showed me up to that moment? I got my family, I got my friends, and believe me, in situations like that, whenever you think that your mother or your father is going on your nerves, remember, there are certain moments in life that you are really happy that they are there. That day, I was really lucky because I got my education, I got my sports, <coughs> I also sometimes give a shit about what the teacher told me, about what my parents told me, but in the right moment, I was always there. In the right moment, I pay attention, and in the right moment, I said to myself, okay, maybe, funny guy, now it's time to listen. I'm trying almost every different kind of sport I can try. Kanu, swimming, at least I'm back on the golf ground. I'm training hard with my hand bike. There, this is such a, called a uh, training wheelchair and I got my sticks and I call this Nordic rolling. Yeah, I just take off my legs, sit inside, and then I'm doing 35, 40 kilometers, and this is what gives you big arms. <laughs> this is what gives you power when you're running the right, just for you like running. These uh, 40 kilometers takes me about three hours. And this is training, this is hard training, but I do it. Getting up this hill with my bicycle because I got a name. And I need to follow my way step by step. And this is what is important for you. You all inside here, hopefully, you all got to go. Every one of you got to go. But for sure, it's impossible to reach this goal in the next 24 hours. But give yourself a success from time to time, it's necessary for all of you to cut it down in steps. You, for yourself, need to decide what next step to reach my aim is important for me. And then you can work on it. And then you can follow it step by step. But it's necessary never to lose your focus. You need to know where you want to go and you need to stay focused. This is what's really important. And, believe me, there are so many people asking me, Rudy, are you totally dumb? What makes you driving down a hill from thousand meters down up to two thousand meters with your hand pump. Why you do this? What the? Pum, 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 dot, dot, dot. <laughs> wants you to do this. Why are you doing this? Is this necessary? And I said, yes, it's necessary for me. It's necessary for my own satisfaction. It's necessary for me to keep me fit, to keep, keep me powerful in my body, and at least powerful in my brain. But you need to work hard for this respect. And so did I. And the greatest thing for me whenever people told me you are not able to do it, I said, This is not your decision. It's not your decision to tell me what I...